Hi, in this series I'm going to show you how I've been using the Kendo UI grids. More specifically how I've been using in the ISP.NET MVC environments. We're going to take uh, templated lists like this one that you see here and we're going to convert it into Kendo UI grids more like this with more functionality such as um, sorting and paginating and whatnot. Uh, Kendo UI uh, offers several ways to create a grid. I'm going to show you three of the ways that uh, we've been using it. And uh, in this particular example, I'm it's the most simple one. We're going to go from an HTML table. So, in case you don't know, I'm, uh, the Kendo UI um, library is a set of uh, widgets that are offered uh, to make your applications look better. If you haven't uh, checked it out, you can go to kendoui.com. Um, and the first step, of course, is going to be to to uh, download the JavaScript. Um, let's go to the code and see. Right now, I've I've started with a templated list here. It has pretty much nothing, uh, but I've added some core balls here so we see so we can see how we would translate that into a Kendo UI grid. So uh, the price of my of of the price here is basically color coded, green, blue, or red, and there is actually a JavaScript event uh, linked into the delete link. Uh, and this is the, the actual handler here. It basically confirms you want to delete and hides the row. Um, this is basically what it does. Color coded the price is a list of cars. And if you delete one, it's going to disappear from the list. So let's convert that into a Kendo UI grid. And the first thing, of course, is going to be to import the Kendo UI. Um, references so I have them here here I've copied and basically I'm adding two CSS um, references and uh, I'm including the entire Kendo UI library this is around 300 kilobytes uh, it's minimized but uh, they also offer, uh, offer um, all the libraries independently so if you only want the grid you can go to to their site and uh, on the JavaScript dependencies it tells you exactly what you need for for the different functionality you you want to use so in this case I would need all of these to use the grid uh, for this example I'm only I'm pretty much using the entire library it is important to notice that it depends on jQuery 1.7.1. So here we go. Uh, I have my references. So so let's start. All I need to do here is say give an ID to my table, and I'm gonna call it Cars Grid. I also need to tell it what is the header and the footer of my table. So I just add a T head here. You need to specify TH and the templates for Kendo UI don't like empty uh, TH, so um, I'm just going to put here actions. Now I'm going to say which one is the body, and we will know more about it, but data grids require a data source. When you're starting from HTML, the T body becomes the data source. And uh, believe it or not, that's all that we need to get our grid started. All I need to do right now is say via JavaScript that my cars grid is a Kendo grid. And if I save this and see my, I don't even need to compile. If I just go here, everything has been transformed into the grid. So that's great, nice and easy, but now I want to make it uh, sortable. And basically I start putting options here and uh, say sortable equal true. Um, just to save some time, I'm going to tell you that this uh, won't work. 
won't work correctly and it's basically because we haven't given it enough information we have to tell it what is the field name something that it can use so I'm just gonna say here that this is a year um, this is a make I'm gonna leave it like that for simplicity uh, now if I say sortable and I have those two I would expect that at least those two would the sorting would uh, work as it should so if I go here I can see here that is sorting the other ones uh, still try to sort but it doesn't really work well so if you complete uh, all the configuration here and I'm just gonna copy and paste it so I, I'm not boring you so the other thing that notice is that I say here that a sortable falls on the actions that's just because there's nothing there so this is great we have um, sortable grid but we probably want to make it pageable as well so um, let's just introduce that and it's as simple as saying pageable equal true but in Kendo UI the page size is actually part of the data source so we need to say page size equal no, no five and that's it now is is uh, paging now this doesn't look right so let's just introduce also uh, height just so it looks a little better okay great so it sorts it paginates the color coding is there but one thing is missing that delete it lost the binding and it basically is because um, the grid is running after this data binding uh, we need to actually do the binding after the data is bound so you have access to the event data bound and what I'm gonna do for simplicity is just move this here there's also something else we need to do uh, we cannot just um, hide the row because um, we're now working with data sources so um, Kendo give us the ability to to access the, the the grid information. So here I'm actually getting the Kendo grid from my div. Uh, now I'm gonna get the data item that I'm looking for, and it's basically grid data item. And finally I'm gonna remove it from the source, and that's gonna do the trick so you get the grid get the data item and remove it from the from the grid so let's see it in action once more I'm gonna load this and I'm gonna remove this and it's just gonna go away uh, if I go back this is not gonna be back so that's it we've, uh, in, we've taken an ASP.NET list we've converted it in uh, to a Kendo UI grid, it has sorting, pagination, and it has custom uh, jQuery event handlers for that delete link. I hope you find this useful, and remember, there's going to be two more videos on how to create it from an empty div, and then introducing some templates.